I guess it's kind of funny that I've never actually seen the movie Splash, but but my buddies, uh, Stu and Darren, hi guys, uh, they've seen it and they liked a couple of the lines from it so much that I almost feel like I've seen it. So this one recurring theme through it is that Eugene Levy keeps getting messed up worse and worse and worse throughout the movie broken bones and car accidents and all kinds of stuff and he just keeps saying what a week i'm having and yes that is the tie-in here uh what a week i'm having and i um am really blessed first of all just want to get this out of the way thank you lord uh, the rv has sold it went for exactly half of the original asking, asking price I was trying to get. And I just have to say thank you and be grateful and hope that the person that bought it uh, is greatly blessed with it and it is a provides a great home and, and opportunities for them. And really thankful for friends that helped me get it sold on through Facebook Marketplace. And uh, that means I've been able to pay down some more uh, credit debt and also sneak preview tees to buy a, a piece of equipment that I think uh, is something that will help with the woodworking business. In the meantime, though, I've got something that goes way back before I even started doing videos on YouTube that I had an idea for uh using some salvaged and and free and scrap materials and this week finally uh, got to the next level with it the next video should show the completion although it that is probably going to take me a little while yet and i'll have to see if i actually get it done in the days to come here but for now please take a look at something from thanksgiving weekend 2022 and where I got it just a few days ago. Thanks for watching. Video, it turns out, goes all the way back to November 26th of 2022, before I'd even started the channel. And it has to do with this salvage steel table. I think it was used in a restaurant previously. Somebody gave it to me and some scrap two by fours that I got from some pallets. Um, just trying to decide if I could maybe start to do some woodworking stuff. And this is what it kind of started out as. I was setting it up to see if stuff would fit and to see what kind of length I needed to cut off to make it fit inside the, the, the edges of this uh, table. And what I worked on the past week or so is something I had thought of a year and a half ago and just hadn't yet uh, taken the time to uh, finish it off. Well, I needed to buy some materials and I just was kind of trying to play it as cheap as possible. I hadn't bought them yet, but there, this is the layout to see what it, what it would look like and then... Here's another angle just to give the idea, really rough wood and it was just kind of pieced together, but uh, it's such a sturdy table and I thought I really wanted to try and turn it into something. And here is the uh, phase after I got the things cut to, to size. The it trimmed up nicely and you can see that there's an edge uh, band around the top of the, the table area so that this could just kind of fit down in it. So when I show what I worked on this past week, I realized, oh, I don't really have any good pictures of well, before I started. This is the best I could do is go back a year and a half and find these shots. And so take a look at how it's turned out now that I have, uh, turned it into a mobile cart. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I am showing kind of the tail end of this little project. Uh, it is the, uh, you can see over here, the two by four uh, slat bench that 
has been sitting back on the back wall for a long time that I've just been thinking, man, I want to put wheels on this thing. So I have cut a scrap piece of plywood to run across the bottom after raising the uh, adjustable legs to a uniform about 28 and a half inches. That's going to make a second shelf below the metal shelf that's, that is part of its construction. I added these uh, stringers from pallets that I've cut to, to size so that, excuse me, so that I can drill in a hole, excuse me, so I can drill in a hole for a threaded uh, slot uh, to go into the wood so that these wheels can then be threaded into those. And uh, <sighs> it's just a bunch of scrap and it's just a bunch of leftover stuff. And I am just thrilled that I'm getting to do this. So I'll do a little bit here of uh, time lapse to show kind of the what are kind of the finishing touches. These these casters are a little small for as rough as this garage floor is but they're what I have so I'm, I'm using them I think I'm going to be able to put the vice at very least the vice on this uh, table and maybe this will be the drill press table uh, I'm going to think that through here in a bit and then underneath I may actually be switching the uh, compressor over to this and doing something different with that table that I built and I refer you to the video I made some time ago if you're interested in that, seeing that table. If I was really, really good at this, I'd have a link. Maybe I can come up with a link to uh, let you take a look at that build. Anyway, this is really very satisfying because I really, really want to be able to use this. And I really want to maximize the organization of the space, especially so Carol can get her car back in the garage on a regular basis. This is a big part of that. Here we go. It's always it's always something it's so hilarious I was so concerned about the the circumference of the holes I was cutting for the threaded inserts uh, I started a little what I thought was a little small because I didn't want it to like be too loose and so that you could might have noticed I went up a couple of uh, drill bit sizes but the first one I put in I was so concerned about the wood splitting and actually the threaded insert split at the top. Oh, grief. Anyway, there it is in its kind of grungy glory. Uh, really interested to see how it's going to roll here when I get it up and turn it over. And I'm trying to do better about putting my uh, equipment away when I'm using it. So let's do a couple of things here real quick and make the turn. Really glad for this Milescraft drill block. Uh, it didn't actually have one to fit the bit I ended up with. This was a little too big. It's a little too small. But at least I had kind of a general alignment help with the one even though it was a little big. And I really wanted to try to get them straight up and down. It's not make or break uh, with, with these threaded inserts so much, but I just thought it'd be nice to, to practice that a bit. And this uh, plywood was kind of warped, so I uh, 
clamped it together to attach it to these stretchers and it's got a little bow uh, the, it, the plywood was bowing this way I put it in so that it would be forced down by any weight that was on it so it should flatten out and I think these stringers will help keep it flat as well all right moment of truth here uh, this is going to be something now what i really probably am going to do also is round these corners off these are these are round foot pads on the bottom of this metal and i'm probably going to round those corners but i wanted to put these inserts in before i did that in case they were just going to crack out I, I mean i could replace them with some other junk stringers but i really wanted to try and uh keep it from cracking if i could right, here we go a real good height with the with the two by fours in it's going to be about there okay next thing on these two by fours there's a lot of gaps and I really just kind of roughed this in when I made it it's pretty heavy and I could have done a much better job on this because I ended up squeezing them together uh, and I probably could have gotten almost a whole nother two by four in there if I had really squeezed them. And so there's ended up to be quite a few gaps. So what I am gonna try to do is run painter's tape along this bottom in hopes of being able to wood glue in the gaps. I kind of did that on the top a bit to just see if it would work. Some of these gaps were too much for me to be able to do that without it just all dripping out. But I think if I do painter's tape uh, and uh, block it all up, I should be able to do it from the top and then sand it down nice and smooth. That's what I'm going to try for. Oh, and that, that did work to kind of make a drop-in fit. That, that part worked pretty well. <laughs> 